Welcome, Andrea, of course. So, hello, everyone. Uh, it's great to see so many of you here today. Um, so, uh, my name is Andrea Frittoli. I'm an open source developer advocate uh, at IBM. So, my team focuses on uh, advocating on open source technologies, to which IBM is a, a large contributor. But I wanted to talk today about the Call for Code initiative. So this is a five-year initiative that is happening year by year. So we have the first edition last year in 2018. And uh, today, uh, this year in 2019, we are con uh, continuing with a second edition. So the idea is to make a call to software developers to use their skills, their creativity, uh, their intuition, their ideas, their originality uh, to develop code that help uh, solve um, problems in the world, like uh, when you have emergency situation or disasters, natural disaster happening. Um, there are usually very difficult situations happening, uh, like people lose communication to the network, it cannot request, it cannot communicate uh, with the first aid, uh, it cannot communicate uh, the need for uh, basic uh, things like uh, uh, medicines or you know, um, food or water. So the idea is um, let's put a prize and make this uh, a global initiative so people, uh, software developers are motivated to, you know, come up with great ideas and um, then we can continue from the idea and help it develop it. So um, this is um, a little bit of information from what uh, we did in 2018. So there was a, a very large participation. Uh, it works with, uh, with teams. So we had more than 100,000 uh, teams. Uh, the developers had participated and 2,500 two uh, applications. Um, we also uh, have called call for code events around the world. So they are called called for code days where like small hackathons focused on developing things that are um, towards this initiative. And um, the project winner for 2018 was Project AL, that is uh, a solution that is based on both hardware and software. So they um, created some uh, kind of rubber duck devices, and five of them, they can float and they can create um, a local network that allows people to communicate and send voice messages uh, using kind of a voice assistant. And then these messages can reach a, a dashboard that is uh, accessible by like first aid uh, people that can re retrieve these messages. So uh, in 2019, now uh, we want to continue this. Uh, the focus for the 2019 edition for Code for Code is on personal and community well-being. Uh, as you can imagine, in emergency situation, it can be more likely, for instance, for a plague to spread. For uh, there could be uh, also uh, psychological impact and stress on people uh, before and after uh, some uh, catastrophe uh, happens. So the idea is to create solution to support personal and community well-being. And we thought uh, we could present this here at the Akaton today because it sounded like kind of a fitting uh, type uh, of intent with, with, with what is with the Akaton. So apart from um, Call for Code, there is another initiative that is starting this year, which is called Code, code Response. It's a four-year initiative. And the idea is to actually take uh, this project that were, came out of Call for Code and make them real. So um, there is, again, funding and uh, engineering that is uh, supported by IBM to actually take the winner of the Call for Code uh, initiative in 2018 and actually take it to production, make it real, make it happen. So if you decide to um, participate to Call for Code, there are some uh, judged criteria that will be applied um, um, in terms of uh, completeness, so how complete is your solution is. And so the idea is that um, you have uh, the hackathon today, you might want to take your solution that you're developing today and continue to develop it and develop it further and get it to a state of completeness where it's ready to submission for the call for code, right? So um, also we will judge on um, 
effectiveness and efficiency, uh, design, stability, of course, and usability. Um, and I think, personally, I like the, the fourth one very much, is creativity and innovation. So innovation using new technologies, of course, but it's not only that, it's really finding a kind of out of the box ways to solve problems, so new ways to solve problems that people has not thought about yet. Of course, we, we have prizes for uh, the first three places, um, which are um, like $36,000, uh, $24,000, and $12,000 for the first three places. And um, in terms of um, implementing your solution, uh, you might want to um, look at the developer side from IBM. Of course, um, we, um, as IBM, uh, we have uh, multiple services in our cloud, and we do provide what we call uh, code patterns that are examples of how you can utilize technologies or combine different technologies to, you know, as, um, to create some solution. These are examples to, to get you started in getting to know a certain technology, and you can use as aspiration uh, to combine with your innovative and creative ideas. And um, I mean, we spend a lot of technologies with the services that we have here, and um, we have different services, and there are uh, some, some of them that I think could be specifically interesting, apart from this uh, standard kind of uh, application as a service, infrastructure as a service, services. We also have all the Watson services in our cloud, and I think you might find uh, them interesting for um, this kind of solution because you have things like text-to-speech, tone an analyzation, visual recognition, all these AI power type of services might be interesting to combine uh, with the call for code. So if you decide to uh, apply for call for code, um, your solution should use at least one of the services, um, at least one of the API on the IBM cloud. It doesn't need to be hosted on the IBM cloud, but it should use at least one of the services there. So um, yeah, that's all I uh, had for today. Um, we have a, a dedicated office hour uh, for IBM Cloud Technologies and Services tomorrow morning, I think at 11. So it's one hour, I will be here. And of course, we are in the exposition hall at the booth. So if you have any questions, either find us at the booth. That's always a good point, um, uh, to, a good place to find us. So just come around and talk to us. Thank you.